Hi, my name is Dr. Busha Chowdhury and I'm a GP in Salford. This is the first video in a series about the COVID-19 vaccines. I've asked doctors from various specialties who are experts in their fields to answer some of the common questions we are all being asked about the vaccines. It's a frightening time with a lot of uncertainty for us all. As medical professionals, we are concerned with the amount of misinformation about the vaccines. I hope these videos will present the facts and that you will share them with your friends and family. They will be translated into several languages and will be available on our ASDOC YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about how vaccines work and why it is important that people from ethnic minorities have the vaccine. Dr. Shweb El Khalifa, consultant immunologist and allergist. Please, can you kindly explain how a vaccine works? Now, we all know that we have lots of microbes around us. These include bacteria, viruses, fungi, and various parasites that can cause disease within the body. Each microbe is made up of several subparts that are recognized by our immune system as foreign. Now, we call these subparts or uh, antigens. You might not be aware that the single most effective healthcare strategy of all times after clean water and clean hands is vaccination, which saved millions and millions of lives throughout uh, history. Now, how vaccine work? Vaccines contain weakened or inactive parts of the a particular organism or um, microbes, and these trigger an immune response within the body. Now, this weakened version will not cause the disease in the person receiving the vaccine, but will prompt their immune system to respond as if it countered the actual uh, disease. Now, some vaccines require multiple doses, given weeks or months apart, and this is sometimes needed to allow for a production of a long-lived immune response and development of memory cells. In this way, the body is trained to find the specific disease causing organism, building up memory of the pathogen so as to rapidly fight it if and when exposed in the future. When somebody is vaccinated, they are very likely to be protected against the targeted vaccine, but not everyone can be vaccinated. So look after so many patients with immune deficiencies, a weakened immune system, or people with allergies to components of the vaccine. Now, these people can only be protected if they live within other people who have been vaccinated, and this is what we call a herd immunity. Now, no single vaccine provides 100% protection. And the heart or the herd immunity does not provide full protection of, for those who cannot safely be vaccinated, but will reduce transmission and severity of disease. So vaccination will not only protect you, but also protect those in the community who are unable to be vaccinated if you are able to get the vaccine. So get the vaccine if you can. Dr. Hina Shaheed, GP and chair of the Muslim Doctors Association, why is it important that ethnic minorities have the vaccine? Ethnic minorities have been disproportionately impacted by COVID-19. If you are from an ethnic minority background, you are more likely to get infected and you are more likely to develop a severe infection requiring admission to hospital, including intensive care admission, and also sadly, you are at an increased risk of dying. The vaccine for coronavirus protects against severe disease. The increased risk that we see in ethnic minority communities is because of a number of different reasons, including working and living conditions, access to health care and information, racism and discrimination, and also underlying chronic disease. If you're from an ethnic minority background, you have the most to benefit from the vaccine because of the protection it offers. And so I would encourage you and your family members to get vaccinated if you are offered the vaccine.